What's going on guys? It's Thursday. It's spring. In Forza at least. We got another trial for you. This one is called Dry Aged. It is a road racing event for vintage racers to Nabi spec. Now the key here is going to be picking a all-wheel drive car. An all-wheel drive car is going to be crucial. I wouldn't recommend a rear-wheel drive car. Sure they're going to be faster in the long run like top speed wise but they're not going to handle as well. They're not going to accelerate as well. They're not going to brake as well probably. I wouldn't recommend the rear-wheel drive car. The car I decided to go with is a 1931 Bentley 4.5 liter supercharged, otherwise known as the blower. I will show right now the tuning setup I used on the screen. It's called Forza. It's by Tato790709. I've been using this tune for a long time. It's the only tune I've ever used for this car because it, it works. There's no really not really need to change it, you know, to try to make it a little better, because I think it's it's very serviceable the way it is. Um, I think it's the best overall car for this event. You'll see in my footage, I, I put up some, some good times. I was kind of upset in the third race. I'm kind of getting stuck behind the driver tars a little bit at the beginning. I lost a little bit of time. I could have done better in that race for sure. But still, this car is great. I think you're going to have a, you know, a fun time if you pick this car. Um... Now this car, it, it's going to cost you some money. It is available in the auction house for about a million credits. Um, however, it is a car you can obtain if you buy the Bamberg Castle, which is, I believe, 10 million credits. If you buy that, you'll get a barn find rumor, and then you'll be able to get this car. So if you've already done that, you'll have this car. You won't have to go buy it. Uh, like I said, if you, if you haven't gotten to that point yet with the barn finds or buying the castle, it is in the auction house for a little over a million, I'm assuming. Um, other cars you could choose that would be decent options. Uh, the 1926 Bugatti T35C is a good choice. You'll have to buy that one outright for, I think it's 10 million credits as well. I don't believe it's any in the auction house right now. It's more of a rare vehicle. Um, other decent choices would be the 1939 Maserati 8 CTF. You can buy that. And the auto show for probably 10 million. Now you can get it in the auction house for about a million as well. Not, it's better than the 10 million, obviously. Um, the reward car is actually a decent choice. The 1933 Napier Railton is a decent, decent option. Now, what sets these four cars apart are that you can convert them to all-wheel drive. Like I mentioned earlier, you're going to want all-wheel drive for these events for sure. I do think the Bentley is the best, but like I said, they're all four serviceable. Um, you know, like the Napier and the Maserati. <clears throat> In general, they're a little slower, but they, they might handle a little better than the, than the Bentley or the Bugatti does. I think the Bugatti might be a little faster than the Bentley, so... I mean, you can get one that handles a little better than the Bentley, get one that's maybe a little faster. But I think overall, the Bentley is the, is the best choice for this event. Especially in the, I think, the second race. It's really fun to use in that circuit race. Um, yeah, my teammates actually pulled through this time. We won by 50 points, I believe, in that last race. It's nice. I actually had to do it a couple times because uh, my teammates didn't like to, didn't like to pick tuned vehicles. They like to pick the rentals and not do very well. Like I said, you're going to want all-wheel drive for sure. You don't want to pick a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Um, it's, it's a fun challenge, though. It's fun. I've been hearing rumblings about another uh, vintage racers event for a while. I'm glad we finally got it. It's a little different. Hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying Series 30 so far. Uh, that Super 7 thing's kind of neat. It's kind of like all the other stories, though. It's just challenges. But it's still it's something you can grind for different challenges done other people can be creative and make their own challenge for you to try to complete i think it's kind of neat it's always cool that they're still adding stuff to this game it's a great game uh, hopefully you guys are having fun like i said hopefully you guys can uh, get some challenges done get the seasonal events done you know and you know just keep progressing it's what you need to do in this game keep progressing get all the stuff done i guess while you can while this game's still in its lifespan anyway that's that's enough rambling out of me <laughs> I will uh, see you guys next week for the summer trial. Have fun.